Hey guys, this is Jim, KN4YCD, and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by. So today I want to go over some GMRS radios I bought. These are Baofengs. Uh, it came two in the box. It was a pair. I have already opened the box and monkeyed with it because I couldn't resist it. It's a gadget, right? And these radios are, I want to say about $60, $70 maybe for the pair. And I'll put a link in the description below to uh, my Amazon affiliate link for it. Um, I bought these. These are not a donation to the channel, and Baofeng hasn't sent me anything to, uh, to review. This is a pair of GMRS radios. And these are, uh, you know, moderately priced GMRS radios. I'd say they're probably a little better than the stuff you buy at Walmart in a blister pack, maybe. And maybe not. <clears throat> I haven't used them yet. We're going to talk about them real quick, and then I'm going to set up an SDR to receive on my computer, and we'll record that, and we can hear what the receive audio sounds like and go from there. So this is the model G11S, and when you get this, it comes with the two radios. It comes with a USB power brick, a charging cradle, which is sitting in the other, other part of the shop, Two antennas, two radios. It also comes with two uh, FBI earbud microphone setups. Um, pretty much standard stuff. The radio itself <clears throat> is pretty straightforward. Let's scoot that out of the way. It has, ooh, it has cool plastic over the top. I love pulling that stuff off. Look at that. Look at that. You didn't get to enjoy the sound of that, but I did. So these are two-channel two dual-watch radios. <clears throat> they have the absolutely stereotypical Baofeng kind of menu. Menu to get into it, up and down to scroll through the different options. Oops, we popped out a menu. To scroll through the different options, and it shows you here, you know, what all the options are. I've already been in this one and turned off the beeping and the voice because that ir irritates me. <clears throat> so these are dual-watch. You can actually monitor two GMRS channels at the same time. These radios are also set up to be programmable and they have um, several channels in them that can be set up for a GMRS repeater. So they can be used with a repeater as well and not just GMRS simplex. <clears throat> of course they support privacy codes uh, like most GMRS radios do and have the full range of channels. The radio has some neat features in it. It has a little uh, flashlight kind of deal there. Hit it again and we get a signal light and hit it again and it goes off. That button is up here on the side. Of course, here's our PTT. This button here kicks us into monitoring mode for FM. So that changes us over to FM. And then of course you can tune the FM channel of your choice from there. <clears throat> Then over here on this side, we have our connection for uh, earbud and microphone, uh, which is, again, these little secret agent FBI surveillance kind of earbud things. And that goes in there. Um, the battery is at the bottom, the charge for it, and that shows a USB-C connector. Now, the manual says mini USB, but that is not or micro USB rather, it says micro USB, but that is not micro USB, that is a USB-C sized battery. Um, I'm going to turn this back off, let's take a look at the battery real quick. And here is the specs on the radio, and you can see here it gives you the model and the frequency range. It's set up for receive and transmit only on the GMRS frequencies, and this is FCC uh, part uh, what is that, 95 certified. So the battery itself is lithium ion. This is the one that comes with it. And of course it gives you the typical warnings of do not throw this in the water and don't play with it in the bathtub and make sure you uh, don't lick the shiny metal parts. And of course there's our model number on the battery and our power rating. So it's a 7.4 volt, 1500 milliamp hour, 11 watt hour battery. Being that this is a GMRS FRS style radio, the power output on this is set and not uh, adjustable, except on the repeater channels, I believe. And I don't care for this. The actual clip for the radio 
attaches to the battery. So if you wanted a spare battery, um, I don't know whether they'd come with another clip or not, but the clip goes on the battery, not on the radio, which is kind of a bummer. So if we go through the menus on the radio, let's pop menu back up, and you can see the options we have for our privacy codes, squelch, um, our light operations, beep on or off, voice on or off, Vox rather, um, whether it will alert with a ring, so on and so forth. It has something called busy channel lockout, which is this one. And what that will do is it will not allow you to transmit if the channel's in use by someone else. So if it detects a carrier, it's not going to let you key up on it. Oops, go back in the menu. Uh, let's see, I think I'm going the wrong way. Uh, timeout timer. All this stuff is pretty standard with most radios. Um, there's no real magic features in here except the stuff that's specific to GMRS and privacy codes. And then you have your transmit codes, and it'll do several transmit codes if you use those. And we can set wide or narrow bandwidth on the bandwidth, and it mentions this in the manual specifically. A few of the channels are locked to uh, either narrow or wide bandwidth as required, so you can't change it on those channels. Of course, you can reset everything, and now we've been through the entire menu. As it's dual, dual watch, dual receive, it is not dual transmit. It's not full duplex. Um, I can monitor two different GMRS, FRS channels at the same time, which is pretty cool. Um, you can flip between them by hitting the AB button, and then it changes here on the screen. You can see that on channel 10, we have code set, and on channel 6, we don't. So it shows you the status of your privacy codes or DCS codes per channel um, as, you, as you flip through the channels. <clears throat> so you can also scan. And I don't know if you have to have it enabled to scan. It doesn't look like... Oh, yeah, press and hold. So there you go. Now it's not exactly blistering of a scan speed. And I believe in the programming software, you can set the uh, channels that you actually scan. And you may be able to edit that on a per channel basis as well from the front panel. Monitor brings up the weather stations. So you can um, scroll through. You can scroll through, uh, find whichever one is relative to your area for NOAA weather channels. <clears throat> Okay, I wanted to run through the programming software quickly here. There's limited amounts you can do with this because it is a GMRS radio. So within this programming software, and it looks like stereotypical radio programming software, you have some options, of course, open and close files, save files, so you can have multiple configs, read and write data to the radio, select our COM port, and then, of course, an about for the actual program, and little pretty icons to click if you don't like words. So uh, depending on the channel tells us what we can do to modify the radio's operations. And the way you modify any of these is you just click the corresponding channel number and the field. So on the different frequencies, these are set and I can't change them. I'm double clicking that and I can't, can't change anything. On things I can change, clicking that field gives me the appropriate drop down to let me set it to whatever value I want. You can change transmit power. Uh, again, that depends on the channel. Some of the channels down here, when we get into the FRS frequencies, are locked. And again, I'm clicking and there's nothing to change there. It won't let me. I can't change the bandwidth on the FRS channels. I can add this or subtract this from a scan list. So if you want to use scan, you don't necessarily need to scan all, all the channels at one time. You can create a scan list with a limited set to scan. Um, you can rename the channels. So you could call this one Jim, and you could call that one wife, and you could call that one kid kind of thing, you know. And one of the things I have plans for with the GMRS is to use this as a gateway and get my daughter interested in radio. So I'm going to set this up to uh, give her a kid channel. So when she's playing with her friends, her cousins next door, they can play with the radios and, and get an idea uh, of how they all work. 
So you can do all that. <coughs> Here are the repeater channels. And again, I can set my uh, codes, tone codes. I can set power on these. We can set bandwidth on these. So what you're allowed to change is dependent on what um, service that particular channel is a part of. Um, and they have it broken down with multiple DIY channels. I have not played with the DIY channels, but it doesn't look like you can change the frequency on those. So I will take that and do a little research and figure out what that even actually is uh, for you. And you can see there are 24 DIY channels. Now the radio shows that we can add extra channels. And it looks like it will let us add them. Interesting. But it won't let me transmit. So that's the local fire department frequency. And it's not going to let me set a TX frequency in there at all. So you could use this to monitor, which is what it says in the documentation. I can use this to monitor channels that are off of the GMRS, FRS uh, frequency uh, bands. So that's, that's kind of cool. So you could set this to in a scan list, for example, to monitor, like I've got here, your local fire department or local police department or whatever you might want to scan and listen to. You can't transmit on it because you can see we're not getting an option to do that. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick little test here in the shop. This one has an antenna on it. I don't have the antenna on this one. I'm going to step to the other side and let you listen to the audio quality. YCD test one two three four KN four YCD test one two three four GMRS test KN four YCD clear. Okay, so you should have been able to hear uh, what that sounded like, and we're going to go and set up the SDR software. Test one Whiskey Romeo Quebec X ray standing outside about one hundred feet from the antenna on the other side of the house. Whiskey Romeo, Quebec X-ray 644. Test two, at the end of the driveway, about 150 feet from the antenna. Whiskey Romeo, Quebec X-ray 644. Whiskey Romeo, Quebec X-ray, 0.5 miles, half a mile from the house. Whiskey Romeo, Quebec X-ray 644. Romeo Quebec X ray 44, 1.2 miles from the antenna in my truck. I'm going to step out and stand outside. With you, Romeo Quebec X ray 644, 1.2 miles from the antenna standing outside. 1.2 miles standing outside. With you, Romeo Quebec X ray 644. Okay, guys, that's going to be a wrap for this video. I appreciate you all stopping by. If you would, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and ring that bell so you get notified whenever I post any new videos. Appreciate it, y'all. 73.